45% of American adults say they are living with chronic health conditions such as diabetes, heart disease, asthma, or other chronic illnesses. A new national survey by the Pew Research Center finds that this group is more likely than other Americans to be offline in an online world. Hello. What is this diagnosis difference? When someone is diagnosed with a condition, it seems to have an independent effect on their behavior. Adults with chronic conditions are more likely to be older, to be caring for family members themselves, and to have faced a medical emergency in the last year. 72% of those with chronic conditions are online, compared with 89% of those with no conditions. This is true regardless of age, income, education, ethnicity, or overall health. A recent study in the Journal of the American Medical Association found that people living with chronic conditions account for 84% of healthcare costs in the U.S. And it's not just the elderly or those requiring end-of-life care. People under the age of 65 account for two-thirds of that spending. So how does this group use technology and online resources to access information, participate in communities, and share experiences to manage their conditions? That's where the other side of the diagnosis difference comes in. Once someone living with a chronic condition gets online, they're more likely than other internet users to be social and serious about using online health resources. We also find this community is more likely to track their health, monitoring their weight, diet, exercise routines, or other health indicators on paper, electronically, or in their heads. They also may track the health of others. Among adults with no chronic conditions, 6 in 10 track their health, compared with 7 in 10 adults with one condition, and 8 in 10 adults with two or more conditions. And many report that tracking has made a difference in their lives. For more data and trends at the intersection of health and technology, visit www.pewresearch.org.